All right, we're speaking with Michael from Opeth in support of Blackwater Park, brand new album uh, coming out in March in the U United States. Is that correct? Yes, that's true. On the 13th. Great. Um, I've had a chance, of course, to listen to it, and uh, I'm a relatively new fan of you guys. I started with Still Life, mm -hmm. and uh, I love this album just as much as uh, Still Life. Um, how would you compare the two uh, in sound? Well, I think uh, it's pretty much, it's not that long time between the recordings, so uh, pretty much followed where Still Life, to, you know, uh, Blackwater Park is like a continuation of Still Life in a way. Uh, this time we worked with a producer which made a difference, especially in the sound department, because we worked a lot more with sounds this time on the on the voice and on the guitars, you know. Uh, we've never really been that interested in the technical aspect of recording before. We never really knew how to do it, if you know what I mean. But this time, working with Stephen Wilson gave us the opportunity to connect a bit more with the sound. It's something that we always wanted to do, and this time we could. Cool. And uh, with this release, looks like you guys are finally going to hit the uh, States for a full-blown tour. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I saw the... You're hitting the Metal Fest, and then you'll be out with Amorphous, and then uh, the Nevermore Children of Bodom tour. It's gonna, it's gonna be a long one. You guys went, may as well just move here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's almost, you know, you, you're looking for houses while, while we're there. Uh, but uh, it's gonna be like seven weeks or something and all. And, uh, That's great. It's gonna be good for us. You yeah. Know, I always wanted to come over and do a proper thing in the States as well, you know. So uh, now we have the opportunity, and yeah. it's gonna be great. Definitely should be fun. Yeah. Um, now, how would you describe your music? You know, for someone that's never heard you before, I always, you guys are one of the few bands that have um, pulled me to, over to the. I call it. I classify this melodic extreme metal. And when I say that, you know, Opeth, In Flames, Children of Bodom, uh, bands like that are really drawing me to listen more to this kind of music. How would you describe your music if someone had to ask you that's never heard you before? Uh, well, you know, it's, I think it's it's it feels awkward for me to kind of come up with a cool title for our music. You know, I think we're pretty much just a metal band in a way. You know, we have so many different influences that we sometimes go beyond just metal and do stuff that maybe not been heard in metal before. You know, right? Uh, but basically, we we were a extreme metal band with some progressive influences. You know. That yeah, pretty much sums it up, I think. Yeah, you definitely have. Uh, just from listening, I mean, it, you listen to one Opeth album, at least the two that I've heard, and it's just like you're on a roller coaster ride because you'll have songs that are really heavy, like uh, off the new one, The Leper Affinity, uh -huh. but then you have real nice, really emotional songs like Harvest, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really, really a nice uh, listen once you sit down with it. As a matter of fact, I was just talking to a couple friends recently who were at the uh, Frog Power in the States here, yeah. and three guys heard Harvest come on over the loudspeakers and uh -huh. said, oh my God, i got to get this album. Who is this? So uh, just from the you know the nice, prettier, I guess, open tunes, you got some new fans there that are looking for your album. Yeah, it's the song she played for your mom, you know. <laughs> but we like, you know, as I said, we, we, we pretty much listen to all kinds of music. Yeah. You know? I'm listening to stuff that, you know, a metal, an ordinary metal bloke wouldn't understand what the hell I'm, <laughs> why yeah. I'm interested in that kind of music. But I, you know, it's it's just we don't think too much when we write. You know, it's just something we put in everything in there that we like. Right. We don't care if it's whatever style it belongs to. You know, we just kind of want to come up with songs that we like ourselves. You know. Right. Now, do you enjoy the writing process? I I think I read somewhere. Um, I can't remember where I saw it. It might have been on your own sites through the session diaries that uh, you actually get kind of bored sometimes recording and all that, the building process, I guess. Yeah, it's almost like you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not fun in, yeah. in the sense of the word. You know, it, it's, it's something that you, like the basic recordings, like when you record drums and rhythm, guitars and bass, you know, it's it's boring really. You know, it's not fun, you know, to have takes after take you know it's, a, it's when you start with the vocals and the lead guitar it gets interesting you know what I mean but right. the, the thing before that it's pretty boring you know <laughs> but it's, it's interesting in a way because you know we don't rehearse 
we for this album we rehearsed like three times. Wow. Time. So uh, it's interesting to hear what the songs will sound like, if you know what I mean. That is amazing that you say that. I mean, rehearsing three times, you know, like with the new album, even when the first song comes on, Left for Affinity, you listen to that and you're like, holy smokes, this thing is like so involved. There's so many layers of these strange chords that are working together and the acoustic guitar parts. And it, that's pretty amazing that you guys don't rehearse that much and it comes out like that. No, rehearsing is boring. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, when we were younger, you know, when we started the band, right. we like rehearsed five, six times a week, you know, because that was everything you wanted to do was rehearse, you know. And now it's like, you know, I bought myself a PlayStation unit and <laughs> watch out, life's over. Oh yeah, it's, it's like you know, I'm quitting the band, you know, I'm gonna finish the plasma filter or something. You know? it's, it's, you know, we have so many different interests now, and the rehearsing is just, it's pretty hard to get four guys that that don't want to rehearse in right. the same room to, to do it, you know, it's, it's tough, you know. And also, like, when you record albums, you know, <clears throat> it's, for us, it feels more interesting to come up with a product that you don't know yourself, you know. Right. It's fresh for you when you listen to it. It's like you're, because we are like fans of our own band, if you know what I mean. Wow. And when you, when you go out with a new album and you don't know what's on there, it's more interesting for us as well, you know. Right. That's it's great. Like when we recorded the first album, um, we were so well rehearsed, we knew everything. And when we listened to the finished album, we were like, oh, oh the same old song. There's no surprises for us, <laughs> yeah. you know, because we heard it so many times. Right. Not what we're talking, still life, you know, still life we rehearsed twice. Wow. Um, Gosh. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's much more interesting to listen to it afterwards. You know. So. You want to be excited yourself. Yeah, I mean, the music is just, I, w I, would, I would never guess that you would rehearse that less because it's, I don't want to say it's really complicated music, but there is, I mean, there's a whole depth there. There's a lot of things going on. Yeah. You know, you got your electrics, you got the acoustics, then you, you know, it's just so many different layers in there. Yeah. Uh, now, are you, you seeing both vocal styles on the album? Yeah. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I heard that a lot of your older stuff was more just towards the growly vocal type stuff. Well, the normal voice has always been there since the first okay. album. Okay, so I didn't know that. Uh, I was pretty much, uh, you know, I get a, got a more experience with each recording, right. obviously, so I've, I've, uh, I dare to do more with my normal voice, you know, the, the latest kind of, the latest couple of albums, you right. know, but we've always done it, you know, but I've become better with each release and we've experimented more with the normal voice on each new album you know. now, was that something you thought of from the get-go that, that that you wanted to combine the two different uh you know the contrast of the clean vocals versus the ground vocals or what made you come up with that idea i have no idea actually <laughs> when we you know when before we recorded the first time like in 92 or something um I had this acoustic part, and I was like, hmm, it would be cool to have some normal voice over there. And, uh, we just tried it out, and it, it worked, you know. So I think from since then, you know, we just started experimenting a bit more. Right. That song was on the first time. It was The Twilight Is My Robe, it was called. And uh, there was uh, there's a lot of clean vocals on that song, you know. And I think that was the first that we really um, ended up using the normal voice. Uh, like almost 50 50 with right. metal vocals, if you know what I mean. Another thing I've I, just moved on since then. Yeah, another thing I like about your albums are the uh, the lyrical content. Are really, I like reading the types of albums lyrics that aren't just your typical, you know, hey, we like to party, rock and roll all night, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like reading lyrics that you really got to think about that's kind of involved, and that's what to me what open lyrics are. What, what what's your inspirations when you're writing stuff like that? I don't know. You know, people think that I'm, I read a lot of poetry and stuff, and mm -hmm. that I read lots of books, you know, deep books, but it's, I don't, you know, I don't read many books at all. Uh, so I don't know where my inspiration comes from. It must be just some, you know, something I got up there, you know. Right. Um, it's one of those things. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hard to say. Actually, one, I, one book I did read was American Psycho, <laughs> and that influenced me right. quite a bit. Um, but apart from that, I don't read much. You know, so I don't know what what I'm influenced by. Yeah. Uh, another thing I saw with this, uh, especially with the newer album, is uh, the awesome artwork of Travis Smith. 
Yeah. I always plug that guy because I love his artwork. Yeah, me too. Uh, how did you end up originally hooking up with him? Uh, I, I, I don't remember correctly, but I think it was because uh, my friends in this band, Catatonia, they mm -hmm. um, they were using him for one of their albums. And I saw the artwork and I was like, fucking hell, you know, <laughs> he's really good, this guy, you know. So I, I contacted him and he, and, you know, he told me, yeah, he's a big Opus fan and everything. So we just, you know, started working together on the Still Life album and we were so satisfied with the work he did for the album. So we, we decided that we wanted to work with him again for Blackwater Park. Yeah, it's tough to get bored of his work. <laughs> yeah, he is, I think, the best. Artwork guy. Right yeah, now. yeah, he's definitely my favorite. I, I, mm -hmm. you can always tell his art when he when he does it someone for you know like yeah. Nevermore's album. You immediately know. Oh, that's Travis Smith. Yeah, you can see on the cover, you know, stuff that he sent pictures like in it's stuff in there on like the new Nevermore. He's like, mm, he sent me that picture as well. You know, <laughs> you can recognize someone with his style, you know. And it, and also for uh, you know anybody listening to this that got the album, I, I saw that there was some additional artwork that wasn't used over on the darkwood.com slash open yeah. site. Open domain. So you can check that out if uh, you missed, uh, want to see some more Travis work. Um, now, I read that you have another project that you're starting up in addition to Obit with uh, some friends of yours for possible recording this year. Yeah. Is that going to be more um, towards the lighter side, lighter music, or... Not light, as in happy, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be not metal. Right. Uh, I don't know exactly what it's gonna sound like, but uh, I'm gonna work together with a guitar player that I admire, and uh, a keyboardist, the guy from Spiritual Beggars. Uh, so it's gonna be calm music, but right. with a very, very dark touch. And would it be similar? Simon and Garfunkel uh, vocals all the time. So. Okay. It's going to be pretty interesting, I think. Kind of similar to the Harvest tune, or even... Yeah, kind of, but uh, darker. Okay, cool. And That's with, sweet. Uh, we're going to use mellotrons and uh, Hammond organs and stuff. Well, it should definitely be, be cool. More keyboard. Um, now, are you a big internet junkie? I saw you guys do a pretty good uh, job, or your webmaster does, of keeping the site updated with you know your current goings-on, and, and uh, you have plenty of content up there. Are you, are you one of those guys that... Surfs a lot on the web. I don't really, you know. I did when I when I first got connected. I, you know, I checked the porn sites and stuff. <laughs> you know. But uh, and, you know, like you, you 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 know got some lyrics for albums you, you didn't have lyrics for, you know. Right. Like that, but I'm not one of those surfers. If you know what I mean. I I got it mainly to, you know, because of email. You know, email is great. Right. Know? I use it every day. So email and surf that much. Email and check out the boobies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, now, and I also saw that you guys have uh, gone through quite a few members throughout the Opeth, uh, you know, from inception till now. Uh, is the current lineup pretty stable? How are you? How are you uh, guys getting along now? No, we're getting along fine, you know, and I, I would say it's stable, you know, mm -hmm. but you never know right. because we never deliberately kind of fired anyone really apart from the bass player uh, right. on the two first albums uh, it can be you know like the old drummer the original drummer Anders he and I knew each other since we were like kids you know and we always said that when, no matter what we're always going to play together right uh, but he kind of changed his mind in a day or something and uh, quit the band you know so it's very hard to say but for, for me I think it's stable right and we're really happy with playing with the two Martins and you know Peter's been in the band since the beginning of, obviously but we feel that we belong together in this band now. Cool. So I hope it's going to be like this. What kind of future do you guys see for Opeth? I mean, is it something that you want to continue on with for, say, the next 10 years, you know? Uh, it's hard to say. Or you not look that far ahead? I don't, you know, as soon as I get bald, I'm going to stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to your PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it still works. You know. But yeah, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I'd probably, you know, release a couple of more quality metal albums you right. know uh, maybe do some tours and stuff you so are you guys still within a contract uh, with your record label to put yeah, out more music for nations cool um, so we have a contract I think it's it's it we signed a five album deal and uh, this is our second album so okay good three more <laughs> good we'll look forward to that one yeah 
Um, now, is that something that uh, you say you got three more to come? How often do you guys end up putting uh, music out there? I mean, you got already got music that you're putting towards a new album and already writing, or how do you no. handle your writing process? I want to take a break, break uh, with uh, recording. You know, we've done five albums, and it feels like five albums, only one European tour. You know, right. since the beginning. So, with this album. We're going to take every opportunity we can to tour. And America's a good start. Uh, we're going to do a couple of festivals this summer as well in Europe and hopefully European tour in fall. So I'm going to take, uh, from writing for Opus, I'm going to come to uh, concentrate on this project <coughs> of mine instead. And cool. maybe have a Opus album recorded next year or something. Right. Are you guys at the point where... Uh I know it was a lot of bands, some some are, some aren't. Are you guys at the point where you're making a living off your music, or do you guys have other jobs that you have to uh, handle for now? Well, you know, I'm the only one that doesn't work or study or anything. You know, I, have, I work occasionally in a record store, but that's just because I, I like it. You know, it's right. one of my dreams to open up a record store of my own. No, oh, cool. The other guys, uh, Peter Studies and uh, the two Martins work uh, part-time as well. Right. Uh, so basically, you could say I make a living out of the music, although I don't make a living. <laughs> it's, you know, I don't do anything apart from music. Like occasionally, I got some money in my pocket, and, but most of the time, I don't. You know, right? So it's fine with me. I'm used to being poor, and I kind of like it in a way. <laughs> as long as you got your PlayStation music, what else you need? Oh yeah, I can afford to buy a couple of games for my PlayStation. <laughs> there you go. Now, how, how is that for the other members? Is it rough for them having to, you know, like you guys are getting ready to come over to, um, you know, the States for quite a long haul. Is that rough for them to be able to, you know, take off school, take off work, to have to come over here? And, and no, it's, it's not tough at all. I right. think uh, nobody has a job that they're attached to. It's all like shitty jobs, if you know what I mean. So yeah. they have no problem leaving, you know. I think the two Martins work in it like a taking care of elderly people like wiping their asses and everything you know? <laughs> so I don't think they mind going over to the States right. <laughs> uh, and Peter is, he's studying and he kind of takes care of his own he just has to fulfill like the points if you know what I mean so he right. can study whenever he wants to as long as he fixes the test when they're right when they're due you know he has something problem. he has something to look forward to if something ever happens to you you got the two brothers that take care of you mm. and wipe your ass yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. Now, is, is, is there any uh, other goals that you have for Opeth that you haven't already achieved? I mean, you got albums out there. You got, you know, you're gonna really get ready to do some uh, touring. What else would you like to see happen for Opeth? Well, you know, I still haven't been driving down Sunset Boulevard in a limo, like standing out with the with a cowboy hat and shaving, <laughs> and screaming, you know. But it's it's as far as goals come, you know, it's, it's we. We don't think in those terms, really. Right. You know, uh, I just want to have a decent life. You know, I've pretty much felt, you know, I've left all that boring work shit behind because I don't feel you should waste your life doing stuff you don't like to do. You know. Right. So uh, just want to have a good life. Cool. That's all. And uh, are there any other bands recently that you're listening to the, that you're into right now? CD wise or anything? Well, you know, I've been listening to the new Nevermore stuff, obviously. Since right. I was them. Uh, I've got some free stuff from the labels that I'm in contact with, but I can't remember anything I liked, really. Cool. Uh, yeah, that new Nevermore. Nevermore is good. Yeah, it's really good. I, I got a chance to catch them when they did the first uh, little mini tour, I guess. Yeah. With uh, In Flames. Mm hmm. And uh, great, great show. So, yeah, uh, I think so. It's you guys. Be, uh, we're going to be nervous. <laughs> nah, you guys will do fine. Just play your music, and uh, as long as we get to hear that open music, it, you know, I don't see how you can go wrong. No, well, actually, Yeah, actually, I'll be catching you guys twice this year. I'll be at the uh, Metal Fest, and uh, I'll be catching you guys in Virginia when you come through with the Nevermore Tour, so it should be pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah. All right, well, I appreciate you taking your time. It's Michael from Opeth, Blackwater Park's the new album. It's going to be out in March everywhere in the States. And uh, it's definitely a winner. Make sure to go out there and check it out. And I appreciate your time, Michael. Thanks. All right. Have a great one. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.